Hi, I'm Sharnal from Delari Group of Companies, Canada's largest automotive group. We're back with another overview video, and this week we're focusing on the 2019 Mini John Cooper Works Countryman All 4. This is the Midnight Black Edition, so some of the features that we'll be going over today are specific to that package. The Countryman is the largest vehicle in the Mini lineup, and although you can't really tell on camera, it's actually quite big. This is technically an SAV, or a crossover, although it really doesn't look like it because Mini has done such a great job of making this look like a traditional Mini. The Countryman is the type of car that can conquer city streets, but because it is a little bit higher up, you can also take it off the beaten path if you choose to do so. Keep watching to learn more about this versatile, fun, and adventurous Countryman. Minis have a unique design and the Countryman has that distinctive look. It appears aggressive and robust while still being fun and charming. Because this is the Midnight Black Edition, it gets the Midnight Black paint and 19-inch JCW coarse spoke alloy wheels. There are also available carbon fiber mirror caps. Up front are LED headlights with cornering capabilities and the grille has some red accents here to make it look even sportier. In the rear are dual exhaust pipes and a tailgate that is automatic which you can activate with the kick of your foot. Open this up to a spacious cargo area with up to 1,390 liters of cargo space with a 40-20-40 rear seat. What's also cool is that you can get a picnic bench which is tucked away in the cargo area and you can pull it out whenever you need to use it. The JCW Countryman is the most powerful variant. It has a 2-liter, 4-cylinder, twin-power turbo engine making 228 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque at just over 1400 rpm. It has a top speed of 234 kilometers per hour and the Countryman is available with either an 8-speed automatic or 6-speed manual transmission. The Countryman also has Mini's all-four all-wheel drive system that is slightly front-wheel biased. For fuel consumption, the automatic Countryman gets 9.7 liters per 100 km city, 7.8 highway and 11.3 combined. Fuel economy is slightly better for the manual. The Countryman does have a start-stop function and the engine does disengage when coasting for better fuel efficiency if that's a concern. On the inside, you'll be greeted with a carbon black leather interior from the Midnight Black package and the piano black trim. The front sport seats are heated with thigh extension and the rear seats can actually slide and recline with a center armrest in the back as well. What's definitely unique to Minis are the switches you'll find on the dash. This is pretty much unlike most OEMs that have touchscreens or dials and knobs these days. It adds a bit of a retro feel to the Countryman. The build quality of this vehicle is also incredible, with Mini having paid close attention to detail. One of those details is a speedometer, which has a checkered flag design at 200 km and up, for the enthusiasts who like a bit of a sportier feel. This Countryman also has ambient lighting, and you can flick through the different colors using the switch up top. The Mini Connected Navigation Plus option adds an 8.8-inch full-color touchscreen display, offering real-time traffic information, Apple CarPlay, wireless charging, and more. The infotainment here is so fun to look at. It's very similar to BMW's iDrive, of course, but certain animations and features give it personality and a more youthful feel. For example, you can measure how efficient your driving is with the minimalism analyzer, or you can see how adventurous you are as a driver with the off-road measurement tool. Last but not least, there is an available head-up display if you like keeping important information right before your eyes. The Countryman is one of the most fun cars I've ever driven. It is their largest vehicle, so it's not the sportiest of the lineup, but it certainly will inspire confidence on the road. I honestly like this more than I was even expecting to. It's light and agile, and it kind of makes you want to throw it into corners or just take it easy, depending on your mood. The drive modes are green, mid, and sport, and there is a noticeable difference between all three, especially when you put it into sport mode. Mini also offers optional dynamic damper control so that the suspension can match the drive modes better. When it comes to safety, up front I will mention here that a lot of people who do drive these cars do feel especially safe because of the higher seating position and amazing visibility. The standard backup camera does assist with reversing into parking spots or other spaces, and the driving assistant offers person warning, which is essentially pedestrian detection, and approach control warning along with speed limit information and more. The optional park assistant can also assist with parallel parking on the right. What I really enjoyed about the Countryman is that it really is the type of vehicle that you can take anywhere. Need to make a trip downtown? This is a breeze to maneuver. Need to pack up the family for a trip to the cottage? The Countryman has a space. The JCW Countryman is a fun, functional, and spacious vehicle that quite frankly is underrated. 
You won't know until you try it, so be sure to stop by any one of our mini dealerships to take this for a test drive. See you next time.